If a proton pump inhibitor doesn't squelch acid to relieve your GERD symptoms, then what option is left? In this video, we'll discuss a new therapy that may be a welcome alternative. The FDA recently approved vonoprazin as a new class of acid blocker. Vonoprazin has a new mechanism of action that distinguishes it from proton pump inhibitors. It blocks the potassium that fuels our acid pumps. As a potassium competitive acid blocker, it's able to work on acid pumps, whether they're active or resting. And this is a key distinguishment from proton pump inhibitors that have to be timed before a meal, which has always made them a little bit hard to take perfectly to get the maximum results. The other thing that's great about it is you can take vonoprazin when you have symptoms to stop and shut down acid symptoms as they're revved up. Whereas with a proton pump inhibitor, you had to think about it before the meal and consider if you're having something that was gonna upset your stomach. I think that patients are really going to appreciate these differences because it means that it can work on demand and it works quickly. While vonoprazin studies are promising, I hardly expect to bid farewell to proton pump inhibitors. The fact is proton pump inhibitors have been a workhorse for GI conditions for several decades now. They've got a proven track record that has demonstrated that in the long run, they're overall quite safe. And they're especially important for controlling perforating ulcers, which have largely become a thing of the past as have stress ulcers in the ICU. When we know that we need to prevent something, it makes sense to take something day after day. Or when we know that we have to heal something, it makes sense to take it for a stretch of a month or so. And so I think in that way, proton pump inhibitors remain very effective and their proven track record makes them a continued first line therapy. Yet a proton pump inhibitor is not without faults. It can take nearly a week to take full effect. And as I've said, it is finicky in how it has to be timed. Vonoprazin doesn't suffer those limitations. And so patients that have really severe erosive esophagitis are gonna get much quicker relief from vonoprazin than they would from a proton pump inhibitor. If a patient has a predominant symptom of nausea and it's hard for them to keep down pills because they have severe gastritis, it's gonna be much more effective to use vonoprazin to shut down the acid pumps rapidly and quickly start to promote healing. Maintaining the stomach pH above four is key for controlling the symptoms of GERD and promoting the healing of an ulcer, and it's probably also key for treating helicobacter pylori. A proton pump inhibitor often achieves that goal, and yet it does so in only 80% of patients, which means that there's probably a full 20% of patients whom, even taking the medicine correctly, may not get the really deep relief that they need. So patients that have really severe erosive esophagitis sometimes have persistent ulcers in their esophagus even after taking a proton pump inhibitor for two months. We know this because we'll check up on it with a repeat endoscopy and it's not wholly uncommon to see that the disease persists. And so keeping that person on a proton pump inhibitor longer is right now the best that we can do, but it would be potentially much better to start them on vonoprazin because that can get those patients that remain refractory to treatment get them under control. And studies have demonstrated just that, that a very good proportion of patients who have persistent esophagitis after proton pump inhibitors will get success with vonoprazin. A big issue with any new medication is the question of its safety profile. These medications have been studied already in thousands of patients, and they've already been in use in parts of Asia for a few years. So they're starting to develop a good track record of safety but it really pales in comparison to the data and confidence that we can have for a proton pump inhibitor, which have been used for an entire generation. It seems reasonable to imagine that vonoprazin, because it more effectively blunts acid production than a proton pump inhibitor, may have even more severe side effects than the proton pump inhibitor. And over time, we can expect that rare consequences of using this medication will start to emerge. That's just what happens when you take a medication that was studied in thousands of people and now begin to treat millions of people and you studied it for months or maybe towards a year and now you're using it for a prolonged period of time. We're gonna learn more about this over time. Vonoprazin was also recently approved for the treatment of Helicobacter pylori in a combination pill with antibiotics that have been typically used to treat the bacteria. Yet I can't imagine right away using it for the reasons that I've just described. We know that a proton pump inhibitor is a very effective part of that triple therapy to eradicate Helicobacter pylori, and it's often more a problem of antibiotic failure, probably than the proton pump failure, that I'm not wholly convinced that I would straight away 
start to use this widely. So that's where I will probably be hesitant and wait to see what data emerges. I hope you found this information interesting and provides some perspective about how a GI doctor looks at an emerging treatment and considers how to implement it into practice. Thank you for watching and be safe.